Hi, tis the season. Merry Christmas, everybody. And today we're going to make these um, really cute little wire work, super easy wire work Christmas tree earrings. These are made out of 16 gauge soft copper wire. I like working with copper because it's really it's really soft and easy to work with. And when you're first learning, it's it's a good uh, wire to work with and get the hang of it. And then you can go on to the stiffer uh, metals like. Um, nickel wire or brass wire and you'll 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 be able to uh, get the job done a little bit easier because you have the experience so this is 16 gauge if we wanted a finer earring a little more delicate or whatever we can use 18 gauge you can play around with that so to get started the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our 16 gauge wire and I have cut two 12 inch pieces of wire and I have flush cut or I'm going to flush cut we're going to flush cut both both ends here okay and now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our round nose plier and we do have it marked and that's where we're going to place our wire and we're going to make a basic loop and then we're going to do a uh, an eye pin so we're just going to take, place our wire on the mark, nothing hanging off the edge, and then we're just going to roll a nice loop until it meets, like that. All right, and now we're going to take and we're just going to bend that back against the plier and we're going to center that and make it look like a lollipop or better known as an eye pin. So we're just going to place that in our pliers and we're just going to break it back against so we end up with that. And what we do to one, we do to the other. And if it opens up a little bit, then just go ahead and close it. Okay, so we have our two loops the same size. Now we want our, our uh, earrings to be mirrored, which means we want them going in opposite directions. So what I like to do is when I do this, I like to place the openings either away from each other or facing each other. And then that way um, I know what side I'm working on. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to take a, a fine pen and a piece of paper. So this is going to tell us where to put our pliers to make our spiral. We're going to, to, to start our spiral and it's going to give us enough spacing, perfect spacing, to allow for our two rows of wire just underneath our loop there. So we're going to take a wire and we're going to just outline it like so. And we want, we want room for two wires, so there's one. Do it on this side here. And two. There's our two rows, two rows of wires. There are the openings. So now we're going to take and we're going to grab our Sharpie. I'm going to go get my Sharpie. Forgot my Sharpie. Okay, I got my Sharpie. And we're going to mark. So I'm going to bring this in a little bit. Okay, so we're going to have both of these facing the opposite directions, and then I'm going to place them right, I'm going to put the loop, put the first line right underneath the loop, I'm going to line these up evenly, like so, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to mark down here where the bottom line is. And don't put, do too fat of a mark, just a little tick there. And that's going to tell us where we're going to put our pliers. So see, I've got those two, those two little ticks there. Now, maybe the white paper is better. So now I'm going to take the tips, the tips of my round nose, and I'm going to place it right on that mark ok 
coming right at it like this. Okay, so see how I'm holding that in there? All right, now I'm going to take, now when you're doing this, this is a good way to remember how to uh, keep them going in opposite directions. My opening is on this side, so I'm going to take my wire going towards the opening on that side, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, which would be going in the opposite direction. So I'm just going to take, and I'm going to wrap this around my jaw, swing your jaw around, so we end up with that, kind of a figure eight right there like that. So now I'm going to do the other one, and my opening's on this side now, so I'm going to swing my wire to the other side. Ah, I don't want to hit my tripod here. Just double check to make sure that you've got them going in opposite directions, and we do. Now I'm just going to take and follow this around, so we're going to start making our spiral. I'm kind of dropping it down so I can bring it in line with my loop, and we're just going to start spiraling that around. And I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and I'm going to hold on to my wire. Now but just be careful, you, you just want to hold on to it. And then we're going to start spiraling this around. And see it leaves an opening between your plier jaws right there so you can just bring your wire right, right through. Okay, I'm going to bring it around one more time. And then I'm going to bring it down so that it comes, ends up, oh, I got a little short there. Like so. Try to get a good grip on your wire too that, so that your um, plier doesn't grind it all up. You might end up with a little flat spot like a, from, from hanging on to it, but you know, it's handmade. There's going to be stuff. And that's what we end up with. Now we're going to start our tree. Now in the Atlantic waves we started out really big and went down to small, but now we're going to start small and come out big. And it's up to you how wide you want them to be. Okay, so I'm going to take in you can you can make your your waves, your tree close together or kind of far apart. These are kind of far apart, so I went back a little further into the um, into the plier. But what I'll do is I'll start on I'll just do on my mark here so that you you already see what that one looks like. With the, with the wider, so now I'll do one with smaller and we'll, so you can see what that's going to look like. And now we're just going to start doing our waves. And I just kind of uh, started that on the edge of my spiral. And then we're going to just progressively get, and I cross that a little bit, and then bring it down. And now we're just going to keep lining it up on the outside of the previous wave. Okay, I really don't want that any wider, so I'm going to do my next one the same length as this one. So I'm going to go in a little bit here, and I'm going to come up, and I'm going to stop. So that's what we have. 
and this is going to make a nice substantial uh, little um, stump on our on our Christmas tree. So now we'll do the other one. Okay. Those look pretty even to me. They look pretty in proportion. We'll do some adjusting afterwards. There always needs a little tweaking, but now we're going to do our spirals at the bottom. So I like to line them up from end to end here, and then we're going to retrim our wire here so that our spirals are the same size. See, I ended up with a little bit off. Okay, and now we're going to do our spirals. So I'm going to take my uh, round nose to the tips and I'm going to start spiraling up. Now see, we want our plier to be on top of our wire, so we want our, our spiral to land on top here, so that's the way we want our pliers. We don't want to drop them down this way because then we end up with a sideways spiral. So I'm going to hold this. I am going to take this on the tips here and I'm just going to start rolling my spiral Look how cute! Aren't they cute? Okay, now I can see that this is sort of off off kilter here a little bit, so I'll do some adjusting on that. I need to bring this in and down. Okay, and now we'll do the spiral on this one. How cute, look how quick that was. Okay, so now we just need to make some adjustments here. You're the boss, you make that wire do what you want it to do. Don't be afraid, it's only wire. There we go, look how cute they are. Aren't they sweet? Okay, now what we can do, now I want to make sure that they're centered. Now I got this one. This one's a little bit off. It's a little bit higher than the other. So let me show you what you do to uh, fix that. Um, I am going to take, and I'm going to snip out just a tad bit of this, um, just the end here, into my into my loop there and now I'm going to bring this back a little bit and I'm going to redo my my um, loop and it should fall right into place so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to bend it its right angle a little bit more and now I'm going to re-roll that
there we go. Now it's closer. See, now they're more, now they're more alike. Hey, I gotta make mistakes too, so you learn to troubleshoot, right? Okay, those look great. Now we're gonna take our bench block and we're going to straighten them out a little bit and then we'll texturize them a little bit and I'll show you another little fun trick to do with them. Now, we don't want to really bang real hard on where the wires cross right there. A little bit's okay, but we want to straighten this out, make sure everything's all Oh, nice and Christmassy tree looking. I can see this still needs to be moved over a little bit, so you just take it and uh, muscle it into place. So it stays in the center. Well, it's still a little cockeyed. There we go. Okay, now we can go and texturize these. So I'm going to go and I'm going to add a little, little sparkly texture to it with the ball part of my chasing hammer. Now you could take this and you could go in and, and, and pound this and make it flat if you want. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and for a quick little demo we're just going to texturize this part here. So I'm just going to go in, just let the weight of the hammer come down and just do little taps. See how the light dances off that texture? There, see how sweet that is? Now it does kind of warp it a little bit, so I'm going to take my rawhide and do some adjusting here. There we go. Isn't that cool? Okay, so let's do the other. There we go. Aren't they cute? They really are sweet. And so you don't have to make this as that wide. You can make skinny trees. You can make long skinny trees. Those are really cute too if you like a longer earring. But I thought those, I think those turned out rather nice. Let me just smash this thing bit more here. Okay, now here's a little trick too if you want to add a little um, dimension. We could pop this out a little bit and it'll just add a little, little dimension. And so the way I do that is I take my round nose, the tip of my round nose, and I put it right into the middle section there. And you're going to brace your fingers on it and then you're just going to pull down. And see what that's doing? That's just popping that out a little bit and you just go in and there we go. See that just adds a little interest to it, a little, a little three dimension there, or you could do them flat. There we go. Aren't they cute? Now check out my video on how to make ear wires and then you can make your own ear wires for these. Aren't they sweet? I hope you like this in this tutorial. I hope you'll whip out a bunch of these for Christmas gifts or for friends or whatever, you know. Anyway, there you go. Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, uh, I am going to do a uh, video for a pendant and a Christmas ornament. See ya.